In the heart of Paris, behind the stately facade of this building, a dark history lingers. This is the Conciergerie, an ancient medieval palace turned prison, where Queen Marie Antoinette spent the last nine weeks of her life as a prisoner of the Revolutionary Tribunal. Today, the Conciergerie Museum is a popular tourist destination, but during the French Revolution, thousands of prisoners were tried and condemned here before being transported to the guillotine. Marie Antoinette, or the Widow Capet as she was known, was prisoner number 208. On October 14, 1793, Marie Antoinette was put on trial for treason and other charges. The next day, she was sentenced to death. This is the Morning Chapel, erected by King Louis XVIII to Marie Antoinette's memory. But during the last days of her life, this was the Queen's cell. Interestingly, she was allowed mineral water, which I suspect the Revolutionary Tribunal gave to her, not as a, a favor or a privilege, but because they wanted to keep her alive for long enough to execute her. And really, that the whole atmosphere of the, of the conciergerie was, was so filthy and disease-ridden that if she drank any of, of the water from the river, she probably would have, have died. On October 16th, Marie Antoinette would leave the conciergerie to meet her final fate at the Place de la Concorde. It's no wonder the conciergerie was known as the antechamber to the guillotine.